Welcome to the Billiards Project. This project is connected to the objective GCO A5 because that is where we introduce the transformations. So in a minute, let's just get started here first and then I'll explain what we're about to do. All right. Let's connect the mathematics of billiards or pool to what you're learning with transformations. Billiards is a great game of mathematics. Lots of angles, lots of physics, a lot of spins and velocity and all that good stuff. But really, uh, for this project, we're going to simplify it greatly. We're mostly interested in the angles uh, of bouncing off a cushion. Not so much the angles to strike balls and those types of things. So let me tell you a little bit why uh, what we're talking about here. This has to do with transformations because really there's a reflection that goes on. And maybe you can kind of see it here initially. As the ball goes in, it will leave at the same angle. Each time it goes in, it leaves at the exact same angle. Now, you may not see that as a reflection, but if we put a line of reflection down, the idea is that it would travel in. Let's see if we can show it to you. Travel in and then leaves at the same angle. In other words, a reflection has taken place. You can probably see it if we put down uh, this, the, the cues. Do you see that reflection that's taken place here? The ball that once was here, struck in that angle, would reflect over and then come out at that particular angle. So if we wanted to go into the pocket, we would want to change the angle in so that the reflection happens just right. Let me uh, just demonstrate that just for a minute. So let me just roll the ball along the edge of our cue to keep it in that direction and then off it goes heading in the direction we want it to go. And so a reflection has taken place. Now we don't roll it along a cue, we simply shoot it into the, into the bank and then hope that we have the right angle to go to the pocket just like that. Oh, I missed, I better shoot one more. Come on now. For the crowd, oh boy, not so good. Ha <laughs> ha, out of pocket. Let's take this to the paper project now. So what we're trying to do here is strike the white ball into the nine ball, which is yellow. There's a little number nine if you're hard to distinguish which one when they do the photocopying. But you're going to strike it into the nine ball, into the bank, and then into the hole, or at least see if it works. One of the things that we said to simplify this is that it's always center to center. So in other words, if you want to know the path of your ball, place your pencil in the center of one and aim through the center of another. So we know that it would go and strike in this location. Now I guess the question is, where will it go from there? That's where a piece of patty paper could really make this quite simple. Um, what you can do is you just put your patty paper on top of it and recreate that same line. And I'm going to extend it a little bit longer and I'm going to mark where it touched the bank. Now the nice thing with this is a reflection is to pick up our patty paper and reflect it over. I'm going to place that down where, where it goes. And sure enough, it went, oh, you can't see it, straight into that pocket. Now, one of the things I'm realizing that I should have done back here when I did this, and uh, this would be helpful too, is to help with the accuracy. Not only mark the spot, but mark your bank there so that when you flip it over, you can make sure you line it up uh, on top of the other one. And then you can look and sure enough, uh, right into that pocket. So that's a reflection using our patty paper. Now, you could use, uh, you could just use your standard construction tools if you want to create the perpendicular bisector, reflect it over, and draw it. But in my case, I like patty paper. Let me do one more example here for you. So here's our white ball, our nine ball. I'm going to try and bank it and then see if it goes in this pocket. So again, the idea is we always hit center to center, no angle shots here. It would go in at this particular angle. So I'm going to lay down the uh, patty paper here, and I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to mark the cushion, 
and I'm also going to mark again that bank shot going in. So there it is as it travels in. So what I need to do is I need to perform the reflection that it would produce the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of refraction. And sure enough, I missed the pocket by quite a bit. The pocket is down here. I've landed her into here. Now maybe the last thing I would say to you, if you want to know where this goes, <laughs> this is kind of cool. If you want to follow the bank shot, what you would do is actually you would place down another representation of this and then you would reflect it over marking again the spot and so on um, actually yeah and so then you would know where where it leaves and so on you'd have to do a little bit more recording so that you'd be more accurate into that spot but you could mark it and then do another reflection and so again you would watch it bounce and you could do multiple reflections this is a fun little project enjoy it